In this game, I'm playing against Papa Watt, who says he's the champion of Arizona. I had opened with um, Old Faithful, and he had responded um, by exchanging in position number two, and this is our position right now. So he's moving out of a single corner, and um, I'm going to move um, my checker there, because if he moves his checker here, I can break him up um, his back checkers. So again, I'm just using the technique of always moving my checkers in a position that will pull his checkers away from his back or second row, and also to um, make him lose one or more checkers. Okay. So I'm going to move my um, checker here to prevent him from advancing anymore because he's trying to move out of his um, single corner. And again, he cannot move here because I will get a three shot. Do you see it? Um, and then if he moves there, I can um, exchange here and break up um, his second rope on the back. So now I'm going to, um, to towards his Achilles heel and place a checker there. Because again, one of the secrets and strategies is to put your um, checkers in certain very important spots. So let's see what he does now. Again, he can't move um, here because he's going to lose two. He can't move here because I will squeeze him into one of the um, dog houses. All right. So what I'm going to do now is to move my checker here so that I possibly can get a, a uh, two shot because this is tended to become an elbow for him. If he moves any of this checker out or this checker out, this becomes an elbow. All right. So, I can't move this checker here because I'm going to create an elbow here. And if, if I wanted to move this checker there um, to stop this one going into my Achilles heel or spot, um, then it's best to actually move this checker here. All right, so does. So now he's created a um, elbow here that he can defend it by moving this checker here. Let's just see what he does. And then if he moves his checker here, I will um, move my checker here and actually gain a checker. I don't know if you see that. So he can't do that. So he's, okay, well he's done that. Okay, so he's lost a checker already now. It's a very easy mistake to make. So now all I have to do is to play here. Okay. All right. And we just exchange. And you, you'll notice that I'm going to be one checker up. Now let's just count the checkers after all the must jumps. And again, you've got to decide now which way to. Um, take this, um, this checker here. I could take it here, but then he can um, squeeze this checker here. So obviously the best way to jump is this way. So I'm defending this position here. And then he's in a bad position at the moment because again, one checker is guarding two of his back checkers. And that is um, again, one of the strategies to beat more advanced players. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight checkers. So I'm one checker up.
But because he's a very good player, you still have to be very careful because he's going to try all the tricks now and set you up. So, okay, my best move there, of course, is here. Okay, so he's played there, and um, okay, I can either block it or exchange, um, so that um, obviously one of the uh, 13 initial strategies is to exchange as soon as your one checker up, as long as it's safe to do so. So, uh, okay, so I'm going to exchange. And just make sure it's safe, okay? And now if he plays there, I will just um, back up um, this checker here with this checker, so we're exchanging again. So let's see what he does. He can play here, but then I'm just going to move this checker up here so that um, he can't squeeze this checker. And then obviously I'm going to try to get a king but it's going to be in the cock, the Roach Motel. But I, I have one more checker than he has, so I still have the advantage of, of beating him. And although he has his um, back row intact at the moment, um, I'm still in a very good position because I do have that one extra checker. And uh, again, I cannot play here because he's going to get a two shot. Can you see that? So I'm just going to go in and get a king. Again, making sure that he can't um, pull any um, traps or tricks. And that is a trap he's trying to um, get me in. By, you know, if I move my checker there, I'm going to lose two checkers, send me back to um, have an equal checkers, and then he still have his back checkers in place. So I'll be in trouble myself. So I'm just going to go, down, go and get a king now. And at least I can move back and forth, back and forth. Although my checker is trapped, I can move back and forth and then hopefully he'll self-destruct. And that's why it's so important to have a king because a king can move um, backwards and forward. It has infinite moves as long as it's not trapped. And my king is not going to be trapped. Is he pulling any tricks? Nope. We can just exchange, so I'm just going to get a king now. I'm not going to play my checker here because he'll just go and get a king. Okay, so he's exchanged. Okay, so I'm going to get my king out of the um, Roach Motel. Of course, he's going to squeeze me here. Okay, now I'm just going to get my king out. And then if he goes and chases off this one, I'm just going to squeeze this checker here by playing here. All right. So I have to squeeze it. And then I can go and get another king. He can't stop me.
Let's see what it does. All right. Of course, I have to um, just get a king now. Let's see what he does. Obviously, I'm just going to try to exchange and also break up um, his two anchor checkers there. Okay, so he's lost this one. He lost this one. Camp. Alright, so now I can end the game pretty quickly. Can you see what I sh can do? I can exchange the king and then um, when this checker comes into here, then um, fork these two checkers. So I'm just basically trying to end the game as quickly as possible so that um, I don't make any mistakes. So when we exchange, um, I'm going to fork two checkers. You'll see how, how that works out. So then it'll be down to um, two checkers against three. See what he does. I think he's good enough to see it. <laughs> he's not playing. Okay. Yeah, I think he's seen it. So are you still a champ of Arizona? And he's given up. Great, thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a safe day and please click the like button or subscribe button and um, so they can see the other videos.